Okay, we've downloaded a template from rockettheme.com using their rocket launcher system where we'll be launching not only their template, but packaged with it will be Joomla 2.5 as well as their underlying gantry uh, engine. And now what we're going to do with that little package that we downloaded from uh, Rocket Theme is install it on our server so that we can start uh, building our website with all of this stuff uh, installed on our server. Now in this series we're going to assume that you've already registered your domain, you've found a host, you've started working with cPanel before, you've maybe even played around with Joomla a little bit, and uh, so if you haven't done that yet, uh, there is another series here that you can check out uh, on, on some of these basic things of how to get started with Joomla. And in fact, uh, if you have done that, if you've watched the previous series, and you've followed along with your own uh, system, uh, we're going to have to show you how to do a little maintenance to your site, uh, or a little maintenance to your cPanel in order to install this rocket launcher package. Let's uh, go to your cPanel, and let's go down to the file manager. Make sure you're in public HTML, and then what we need to basically do is just delete all the files. Um, if you have, you know, done a lot of work on your site and you don't want to start over, you should either uh, get another hosting package and start fresh or uh, back up your site or back up the most important uh, data, like maybe you've written some articles that you don't have saved anywhere else. Well, get all that stuff before you do this, but the idea is we want to start with a clean slate uh, at our host. Once you've got them all selected there, just hit the X key, the, the, the big red X, and delete files. And they're gone. Uh, let's go back now to our cPanel and also delete our database. And uh, you can do that just uh, by hitting the delete database. And probably you should also delete your user that you defined there. OK, and then what we'll need to do is create a new database. We just don't want to you know, build on top of an old database that might confuse the issue. I know we've already covered this in another tutorial, but it's, it's good to just for review how to do this. And uh, again, to kind of emphasize how easy it is, people that have never done anything like this before might be a little bit intimidated by all of this, we'll create a database and that type of thing. Well, it's, it's not that difficult, don't worry. And you'll remember that there are two parts to this. The uh, first part is actually the name of your site as far as your host provider is concerned. This is what you use to log into your cPanel. And it's important to understand that your database name actually includes this prefix then there's an underscore, and then you can add whatever text you like to complete the name. And uh, if you've got a memory like mine, it's good to make a note of, uh, of this as you're going along, either in Notepad or, or some other piece of paper next to you, uh, some way to keep record of this because we'll need this information later. And down here we see the database has been created, but we also need to add uh, a user now. And you can either accept the one that comes uh, by default there or add a different extension there. Sometimes if you get too long, you have to back off. We'll just say, leave it at that. And give yourself a good uh, uh, password. And then, again, take note of that. Uh, and hit Create User. And then one more step. We need to add that user that we just created to our database. And what we want to do is check all privileges so that you'll be able to do everything that you need to do with that database. And uh, then our database is ready to go. And so now to install our Rocket Theme Rocket Launcher package, let's uh, go up and hit the Home button to bring us back to our main interface in the cPanel. And let's go back to our File Manager. 
And you'll see that your host provider has added one little file there, HT Access. No problems there. Let's uh, upload our package uh, using the upload button here. And uh, with our browse button, navigate to the file folder that has the uh, rocket launcher package from Rocket Theme. Here's the one here. Double click on that. And cPanel will start loading that up. You may have seen other tutorials where people demonstrate how to upload these packages or the Joomla or Rocket Launcher through an FTP program. But not all FTP programs allow you to unzip uh, a file. So they recommend, you know, you unzip it first and then load up all of these unzipped files. Well, it just takes a lot longer to uh, do it that way. So I find this a lot better, a lot faster. Okay, and once your upload is complete, uh, hit the back to home button and it might not show up right away. So don't worry that if you go back to your uh, public HTML folder there and it's not showing up. Just give it a second and then hit the refresh button and it should show up. There we go. So now what we want to do is right click on that package, that zipped folder, and hit uh, the extract button. Hit extract files and it will go open up that zip folder and unpack it and install all of that information onto our server and then we can hit the close button and we'll see that everything is ready to go. Now to actually install Joomla, uh, all we need to do is go up to your browser, any browser really doesn't have to be the same browser and uh, just type in the name of your website. If your website is already resolving, um, then that should be all you need to do is just type in. And you'll be taken to a installation page. I'm going to go with English and uh, Joomla will go through a kind of a pre-installation check. Uh, don't worry if you've got the one red here, display errors. We can always shut that off after we've finished building our website. But uh, some of these others, it's good to make sure that they're all green. We can continue. And hit the next button again. And here is where we uh, type in the database information that we just created. We'll leave, uh, in most cases, it's fine to uh, leave database type and host name as they are. You should be fine. But type in your username. And uh, if you've already forgotten, like I have, I'll just check my notepad here. and the name you gave your database, and the table prefix. Um, you can just choose to accept the one that comes here, a randomly generated one, or if you to have your own secret prefix to your tables, you can um, plug in anything you like there. Okay, um, I'll just hit the next. Okay, for FTP configuration, I usually don't worry about that. Okay, for site name, uh, just enter in the name of the organization or the company that you're making the website for or the main theme of the website. And I uh, add the spaces in between um, just as it would appear on a logo or whatever for this for this part. All right, email, uh, put in a valid email address. And that way, if anybody has any questions that need to be addressed to the administrator of the site, there's a, an email address that they can contact you at and the administration username. Now this is uh, what you will use to log in to the back end of Joomla. This doesn't have uh, anything to do with um, the username uh, and password that you generated for your database or for your cPanel. This is a unique username that will just allow you to log in to Joomla to the back end. And don't worry, you're not locking this in. You can change this at any time. Once you open up the back end of Joomla, we'll show you how you can change that. And once again, it's good to write this down because uh, there's not going to be anybody that can retrieve this password for you. <laughs> you know, it's not like you can email somebody and say, please send me my password. So uh, write this stuff down because if you don't have this, 
you will not be able to get into the back end of Joomla. And yeah, you might remember it uh, in a second here when we actually log in. Uh, but uh, if you're like me, I can, you know, work for a week or so on a site and uh, get it uh, working great and, uh, and then move on to some other project and come back a month later. And I can't remember the password that I just uh, made here. And without that, I would not be able to go back into that website and fix that site, at least not very easily. I, I know that there are some tricks to get back in, but it's not easy, and they uh, probably keep changing it. You'd probably have to search on Google and do a lot of research to figure out the latest method of hacking into your own site. Trust me, it's important. <laughs> okay, and... Uh, then uh, hit the next button and it should go ahead and install that. And we can remove the installation folder. And now we could go directly to the site if we wanted to. And uh, because we have just plugged in a password, it allows us to do that. The next time you go uh, to enter it, it will ask for that username and password. But here we are at our site complete with this uh, sample data that uh, is supplied by Rocket Theme. You'll see that some of the information is blank. And if you'd really like to play around with the site, uh, including all of the images, you can go to Rocket Theme. And uh, if you're not already logged in, go ahead and log in. Uh, click on the Joomla options there and uh, Spectral is still showing up. If you're watching this a couple months down the road after I've made it, it's probably disappeared. You can go up to see all Joomla tomb plates to get back to that. And uh, here it is here, Spectral. And then go to the download area. And very at the very bottom, you'll see Spectral sources. If you download that, uh, it contains uh, some of the source images that uh, might be missing on our site, and so you can plug those in. And uh, now, just to show you how to quickly log into your site, in case this is a, a new thing to you, or you, it's been a while since you've logged into Joomla, just type in the name of your website, and then hit a slash, backslash, and type in administrator. And here's our login. And uh, some of you might be wondering why I'm letting people see all of this information. Uh, they're going to hack into your site. Well, no worries. I'm going to change it right away. Okay, then log in. And here we are at the back end of our site. Now, if you've already watched our introductory series on Joomla, uh, not a lot has changed. I know it's been a year, but uh, I believe we were showing you Joomla 2.5. And uh, this is still Joomla 2.5. And so the interface of the back end of Joomla is pretty much the same. And how you uh, can add extensions to Joomla is all basically the same. How we work with uh, our global configuration, it's basically all the same. So you can use all of that information that you have already uh, watched and apply it uh, to this version of Joomla. It, they have come out with some updates, it's true, but it still uh, works basically the same. And uh, the way you get to your site is the same little button over here in the top uh, right corner, View Site. And here we have it. So I believe that does it for installing your Rocket Theme template uh, using the Rocket Launcher. And in our next tutorial, we'll start showing you the tricks and tips of how to uh, customize this website.